coming soon on video and DVD. Yeah, I faked my own death to get out of Vietnam. I mean, it was clearly a class war, and I was a poor boy from uh, upstate New York. I just did what anyone would in my situation. I looked at the obituary page. I found a person that was about my height and uh, age. I went to the nearest graveyard with some shovels in the middle of the night. I dug up the body. I pulled it out. I ripped his teeth out. No harm, no foul. I stuffed that corpse in my car and I pushed it off a gorge until it exploded. And I was officially a ghost in this country. It's not illegal or anything, is it? I wasn't about to sacrifice my life and I had a gift that I needed to share with the world. And that gift was singing. Dylan hates my guts, but I thought I wrote some pretty great protest tunes in the 60s. Ho Chi Minh was a friend of mine. <laughs> I met him while working as a busboy back in 1909. <laughs> That's true. Ho was the hardest worker I've ever met in my life. I mean, that guy will not quit. Uh, I think that tells you everything we need to know about this quagmire in Vietnam. A lot of people are going to die because this guy's never going to give up, but, um... Hey, you can't boo me. This is my own record. I just thought the dominoes of my career would fall in my favor if I just started playing every major city. Vegas, Reno, Atlantic City, Biloxi, Shreveport, Billings, Kansas City, Cheyenne, Long Island, Jackpot, Fargo, Great Falls, Birmingham, Deadwood, Santa Fe. But, um, I was wrong. My career was a flop. You know, there are times where I wonder what kind of soldier I would have been in Vietnam. Uh, Roddy Fantastic, reading for the part of Lieutenant Tall. You don't want to do it. Oh, God. Oh, keep going, keep going. That's what acting is. Acting is reacting. I think I'd be a high-ranking officer. Conventional wisdom says that you probably shouldn't admit all the crimes you've done in your life on camera, but, um, you know what, Errol, on second thought, I think you should just burn all these tapes. This, this is gonna end poorly for me. <laughs>